Hello everyone and Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful and a safe new year. Prosperous also. Um, and I just want to do a real quick update again. Um, and in my last update, I said that, uh, you know, I was going to buy more hedgerows from Woodland Scenics and place them along the layout. So here's one location where I've uh, had two of them here at Spring Grove that kind of highlights the, uh, you know, the, the, right, the right of way per se. And then it actually does add quite a bit of depth to the scene. So that, that structure looks a lot farther away now. So that's, that's one of the advantages of using trees. Now also, uh, and, and because I'm using these, and I think I mentioned in my last video, is because we're gonna be reaching over these trees here to uh, switch on a couple cars and throw switches and things like that. So, uh, and putting these in, they're sturdy and uh, they should stick. So I can see how much, see how that really highlights the scene. So it's really, Trees are really important in model railroading, uh, and it doesn't really matter the size so much. But I think this really highlights that rock cut for one thing. So, uh, as you can see, how that just makes that scene look really cool now. Uh, and it's the same up here. Uh, you know, you put those trees in and see how, if it, just by moving down that little bit, you could see where the building in the background just kind of looks like it's farther away. So... And uh, also, my friend Mo, who runs the White Elephant Table at the Great Scale Train Show, and now works with me at White Rose Hobbies, uh, had seen me looking at a fine scale miniatures kit at the White Elephant Table the last show in October, and I just couldn't figure out where I wanted to put it, so I didn't purchase it. So, come to find out, he saw all that, and he knew I could find a space for it, so he went and bought it, and then had my wife. Uh, pay him and, and and he gave it to me or she gave it to me for Christmas. So uh, this is his fine scale miniatures kit that he gave me. And uh, it was already built. It was just absolutely gorgeous kit or uh, structure. Uh, and then also uh, as part of that, another hedgerow here just to give us a scene break. And then I've, uh, this is a downtown deco hydrocal building. Uh, that I just, it's not quite finished yet. It's close. Uh, Got to add some smoke stacks or vent pipes on the top there. Um, and then get that scene finished up. But uh, that's essentially where we are right now. Or I am, I should say. And, uh, you know, I've really gotten enthusiastic about working on the layout. So, which is good. And, uh, and I needed that scene break here. There'll be a road that comes out from here on an angle kind of parallel to the trees here. And then uh, this this track's just gonna come off to the front of the layout. And then occasionally I'll put a car in there or something just to, uh, you know, look like their industry's being served. So, but anyway, um, I'm gonna continue to work on the layout here. And uh, I'm gonna add uh, one quick run by here at the end of this video. Uh, just of a new engine I got, Atherin came out with the SD40. Uh, in Western Maryland, red, white, and black. And I ran that across the scene here. So anyway, y'all take care. And I either hope to see you at the store or answer some comments or whatever it may be. And uh, thank you all for watching and, and subscribe if you can. I mean, my whole purpose behind this channel is to promote the hobby more than anything. Um, you know, it's nice to show off your work, but it, it's more so... You know, so that other people could get inspired. You know, that's why I show other people's layouts and why I've been doing these interviews with Brian Sace. So that, you know, everybody gets a share and can learn. So, like I said, take care. See you soon. Bye. One thing uh, I forgot to uh, tell you uh, when I was shooting this, uh, the previous scene is that uh, we got some sad news today uh, that Hattons, uh, who had purchased MB Klein's or modeltrainstuff.com, uh, is closing their doors. Um, and uh, you can go on their website and see what's going on and the reason for it. Um, uh, you know, there were some uh, you know decisions made that were, I guess, apparently didn't work out for them. So they don't have an actual close date, finished close date, but. 
uh, they will announce that on their website. So a sad day for model railroading uh, in a lot of ways because, you know, uh, there could have been some good things going on with that. Uh, but then again, just uh, uh, a, lot of, a lot of bad things have happened in the past few months with uh, model train stuff in Hatton. So, um, you know, uh, <laughs> so um, we're hoping it actually builds our business, obviously. Um, and uh, so once again, uh, you know, uh, happy model railroading, everybody.